An eSIM, or embedded SIM, is a digital SIM card that's built directly into your phone. Unlike traditional physical SIM cards, eSIMs are programmed electronically and offer a more convenient way to connect to mobile networks. Metro by T-Mobile now fully supports eSIM technology, allowing you to activate prepaid plans on their nationwide 5G and 4G LTE network without needing a physical SIM card. eSIM technology offers several key benefits. First, it makes device setup much easier since there's no physical SIM card to handle. Second, it enables dual SIM functionality, allowing you to have two phone lines on a single device. To activate an eSIM with Metro by T-Mobile, you'll need two things an eSIM compatible and network unlocked phone, and a Wi-Fi connection for downloading the eSIM profile during activation. Metro by T-Mobile offers four convenient ways to activate your eSIM. Online through their website, using the My Account app for existing customers, calling customer care at 1-888-8-METRO-8, or visiting a Metro by T-Mobile store. The eSIM activation process involves several key steps that work across different phone models. First, ensure your device is connected to Wi-Fi, as this is required to download your eSIM profile. For iPhone users, the process is streamlined. During initial setup, your device will automatically show a setting up cellular screen. If your phone is already set up, navigate to settings, then cellular to add your eSIM. Android users have slightly different paths depending on their, their device manufacturer. Samsung users should look for SIM manager in their connection settings while Google Pixel users will find eSIM options under Network and Internet settings. Once you've found the eSIM option on your device, you'll need to scan the QR code provided by Metro by T-Mobile. This QR code contains your eSIM profile information. Alternatively, you can manually enter the SMDP Plus address if scanning isn't available. After downloading your eSIM profile, you'll need to enable it in your phone settings. The final step is testing your connection by making a call or using mobile data to ensure everything is working properly.